Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis Media. Once again, welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. Um, I saw two, uh, this is going to be another double movie review. Um, I saw two movies this weekend. First one I'm going to talk about is The Dead Don't Die. Now, The Dead Don't Die um, is another uh, zombie movie. Uh, it's a slow-moving zombie movie, actually. And uh, it stars Bill Murray, Adam Driver, Steve Buscemi, Selena Gomez, all these big-name actors in this one movie. Um, in this small indie independent uh, zombie movie, and uh, basically, yeah, it's a uh, uh, takes place in a small town, and uh, basically, zombies start rising from the dead and start attacking people. Although, um, pretty much, uh, it's different from some zombie movies. Like, uh, it's not like, for one thing, this movie is very slow paced. It is a very slow burn movie that uh, basically just wants. To wants to show like what happens like what's happening in this whole town before uh they actually show like the actual zombies which um doesn't really happen until like 30 minutes in so uh if you're expecting a fast-paced zombie movie like you would have expected like what the trailer showed you're not really going to get that um all in all i uh i actually enjoyed this movie um i liked that uh it was a bit different than what I expected, which is probably my biggest praise out of this entire movie. Uh, Bill Murray and Adam Driver were great in this movie. I really liked their chemistry. And uh, there are some stuff that happens that... Uh, I guess one of my negatives is that the movie can get pretty confusing. At least all up until the end. But there's this one scene near the end that had me go... That literally made no sense whatsoever. And it was just like there, just like... What? what just happened but uh basically i think one of the most divisive things about this is uh the message at the end it does have a message actually which i didn't mind i thought uh at least the more i thought about it um i enjoyed it more but uh all in all it's uh basically i don't think uh, a lot of people are going to necessarily care since they've come to see you know, a zombie movie, you know, zombies, you know, blood and gore and stuff like that. Um, but uh, the way uh, they kill the zombies is a bit different. I mean, yeah, they shoot them, it's just, and, you know, machete and stuff like that. Except uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. And uh, for the most part, uh, some people might find this film to be a mess. But uh, for the most part, I found a lot of enjoyment out of this film. Uh, there are moments where they, I wouldn't necessarily say they break the fourth wall, but uh, they're like talking about, like uh, if you watch the movie, they're talking about uh, like the script and stuff, like, like, oh, Jim, why'd you give, give, like seriously, Jim wrote this in the script, and Jim's actually the director of this movie, so yeah. All in all, I didn't really have much to say about this because it's not really a big movie. I mean, it wasn't released in that many theaters, but uh, I'm glad I got to see it in uh, the theater closest to me. But uh, yeah, all in all, um, it's not a masterpiece, but I can say I had a good time with it. I'm going to give The Dead Don't Die a three and a half out of five. It was an enjoyable experience, and uh, for the most part, uh, if you expect something uh, fast-paced and um, a better ish zombie movie then you're really not gonna really get this like it's not uh it's not a george a romero zombie films it's not zombie land it's not Shaun of the dead it's nothing like that speaking of which uh when are we gonna get a trailer for zombie land double tap because uh now would have probably been the perfect time since this movie came out but since this isn't a big movie i really shouldn't have expected that um, okay, so the, so the other movie I want to talk about uh, is uh, Late Night. This is another movie that I saw, um, not on the same day, actually the day after. I wasn't really expecting uh, to see this movie, but uh, my dad really wanted to see this one, so uh, I decided, okay, okay, we could see this movie. So, um, legendary late night talk show host uh, World is turned upside down when she hires her only female staff writer originally intended to smooth over uh, diversity concerns. Her decision um, has unexpectedly uh, hilarious consequences as the two women uh, separated by culture and generation are united by their love of biting a punchline, of a biting punchline. And uh, for the most part, I really enjoyed this movie. It was, uh, it was very funny. It had a lot of uh, 
uh, really good chemistry between Emma Thompson and Mindy Kaling. And uh, one thing I didn't expect was John Lithgow. You know, John Lithgow's in uh, the new Pet Cemetery movie. But, uh, yeah, I think he's starting to become a lot more movies lately. But, yeah. Um, Emma Thompson is hilarious in this movie. You know, she was terrific. I thought uh, she really gave it her all, as well as uh, Mindy Kaling. And, uh, you know, their work together just really, really pulled it off. Um, for the most part, I would say uh, the first 20 minutes are a bit slow, but uh, once it uh, picks up, then it's just, uh, you know, just putting like, uh, you know, late night, uh, like scenes where uh, they're hosting like late night shows. This is basically one of those types of movies that's like, you know, honoring stuff that happens in like late night shows because that's basically like they mentioned stuff like Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, and I don't really watch uh, late night shows. Um, one thing is because I don't have cable, but, uh, you know, I don't really have them on, like, while I'm sleeping or anything, because, you know, in terms of media, I have plenty of movies here, I have plenty of Blu-rays, I have plenty of games, but, uh, and I'm pretty much happy with it. <sighs> yeah, I have a crazy life. Uh, but anyways, uh... When it comes down to this movie, I can say um, it does have uh, some pretty good moments of heart to it, which I really enjoyed. And uh, all and all in all, I could say this is one of the best comedies of the year so far. Um, it's not like um, I will say I like the long shot a bit more, and it's nowhere near as good as Book Smart. But if you're expecting a fun comedy movie, you know that honors stuff like the late shows and stuff, like the late night shows, like Saturday Night Live and stuff, like we usually see uh, a lot like they're always been doing for throughout the years and yeah I definitely recommend checking this one out I'm gonna give late night four out of five <sighs> so yeah so yeah all in all um it was mostly a good movie weekend um so yeah I had fun with this one so um yeah like I said in my last video um um Child's Play and Toy Story 4 are gonna be coming out this weekend I'm not gonna do double movie reviews I wanna do separate movie reviews for both of them it would actually make a bit more sense actually but uh yeah you know it's it's still kind of crazy because both movies are about toys uh one is about really nice toys one is about a psycho murderer toy so yeah so yeah sorry that these reviews were really short but uh you know i didn't really um there wasn't really much to say about them they're just like one of those uh they're just like those types of movies where i just want to review them get them over with not because i didn't like them because i did um, but, uh, yeah, I guess it's because, uh, they weren't really well advertised, but, you know, that, that's okay, it's not really a big deal. I still recommend you check about, you check out both the films. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Ward out.